As most of us know, California Governor Gray Davis and First Lady Sharon Davis are dedicated to improving our education system and helping students expand their career expectations. They continually seek new ways for government, private industry, and teachers to work together to make learning a positive experience that inspires students to succeed. To further this goal, California's First Lady Sharon Davis hosted the second annual Take a Teen to Kennedy Space Center. This program was developed in conjunction with the Boeing Company and Delta Airlines. Instrumental to the success this year were Mike Mott, Vice President and General Manager of Human Space Flight and Exploration, and Rick Stevens, Vice President and General Manager of Space and Communication Services, and Dan Doggendorf, Delta Airlines Public Affairs General Manager. Together, they arranged to send 10 California high school students to Florida's Kennedy Space Center. It was a great way to acknowledge the hard work of a group of young people who have excelled in school and provide them the opportunity to learn firsthand about America's space program. So, let's pack our bags for a journey of a lifetime that exemplifies how government, private industry, and teachers can work together to create new horizons for our children. Selecting the students was difficult and the criteria tough. Each of you was nominated by your state representative and then you had to write an essay. And then from those essays we selected the 10 students. So you worked very hard to be a part of this. But your work started a long time ago. All of you have excelled in your studies, you have great attendance, and you've been highly recommended by your principals and your teachers. So I congratulate you. This is an opportunity for us to thank you for what you do every single day. Bill Pence, a California State Teacher of the Year Award recipient, was also invited to attend. This was a great way to pay tribute to a high school teacher who continually goes beyond the call of duty to provide learning opportunities that don't always exist in the daily classroom. The adventure began on March 14th when the students, California's First Lady, and two Boeing representatives boarded a Delta Airlines flight to Orlando, Florida. The second annual Take a Team to Kennedy Space Center program was off to an exciting start. Waking early the next morning, we hopped a bus to the Kennedy Space Center. The tour began at the Vehicle Assembly Building where the shuttle is assembled prior to launch. Moving into the orbiter processing facility, we got a close-up view of the Space Shuttle Columbia. It's gone on 26 missions and is one of the four orbiters in NASA's fleet. It was fantastic getting so close to the massive engines that power the shuttle and are helping to build the International Space Station. Standing near the launch pad, we could almost feel the power of the booster engines lifting us off the ground. We were in awe as we imagined how the astronauts must feel as they are lifted into space. Nearby, the largest land vehicle in the world was stationed. The crawler is used to transport the shuttle and solid rocket boosters to the launch pad. We could only imagine the intensity of sitting in the mission control room during an actual launch. At the International Space Station Processing Facility, one of the most impressive things we saw was the Donatello being prepared for its trip to join the space station. The Donatello is a space station module built to carry life support for two astronauts while working on laboratory experiments. As part of our special tour, we were taken through the astronauts' private crew quarters for a behind-the-scenes visit where the public is never allowed. Astronauts eat, sleep, and live in strict quarantine for two weeks prior to a flight. This protects them from any exposure to common illnesses. Former astronaut Bruce Melnick and Boeing Vice President for Florida Space Coast Operations joined us for dinner. He spoke about his two shuttle flights on the shuttle Discovery. On one, he was a mission specialist, and on the other, a flight engineer. It's a living proof that the American dream is still alive, that it doesn't matter where you, where, how you were brought up, what your challenges were, where you came from, that if you have the right attitude and you work towards getting the right skills, which is a, one of the Boeing real values, we always talk about having people with the right skills and the right attitude, 
Uh, you can do anything you want. A special thanks to California's First Lady Sharon Davis, whose vision and support of education provided the inspiration and drive to make this trip happen. And to her staff, Barbara Guido and Trish Fontana, for their hard work in bringing the students together. Thanks to Apollo Steve Agate, our tour guide, whose knowledge of space exploration kept us in awe of everything we saw. To Dan Doggendorf, Public Affairs General Manager of Delta Airlines, for his help with our flight arrangements. And to Mike Mott, Rick Stevens, Steve Trejo, and Leah Peterson of the Boeing Company, as well as all the other Boeing and NASA employees who welcomed the students. Their support of education and our students' future made this trip a truly memorable experience.